Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Trial by Error Variety Show Podcast. I'm your host, Chaz McGrab, coming to you in a recorded version of myself from Bandera, Texas. And this is a huge, giant, packed episode. So I'm definitely not going to keep you very long. I just want to say thank you right off the top to Travis for sitting down and really laying it out for everybody. You guys need to know how awesome this episode is. So keyword of the day, awesome. That's what it is. 100% <laughs> kick ass. A little bit of old Utopia Fest, as well as most of the lineup from this year's Utopia Fest, five months ahead of time. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to give you guys a taste that is going to leave your mouth wet and wanting. You need to go to utopiafest.com and check out their packages for tickets and VIP, because they're going to sell out so fast. It's in Burnett, Texas this year, only an hour away from Austin, and you know how Austin is. Once they catch wind of something as cool as this, they come in and they pack it. They don't make it bad or anything. They just, there's so many of them. There's such a cluster of people in that area that are just diehard festival fans in general. And as soon as, as this comes out, <laughs> oh man, you better, you better hope that you got a link. Oh, you do. It's in the show notes. Make sure you click it. Go check it out. Right now, if you got a crew, you buy five tickets, you get one free. That is a $200 value or up. Check it out. See for yourself. Be a part of the street team. Volunteer. Either way, listen to this episode. Have your minds blown. We are going to take a little journey. Take a few hikes. And listen to the song Onset by... Oh, wait. Yeah, it's, it's by Hikes. <laughs> Enjoy the show!
Okay, sitting here on a beautiful May day, Austin, Texas, at the Cosmic Cafe. Sitting across from Travis Sutherland, the mastermind behind Utopia Fest. This year, Utopia Fest down in the Oaks. Getting into that a little bit. Um, we really want to uh, showcase the the lineup, really. There's, there's plenty of talk and plenty of highlights, plenty of, of research you can do on your own. Uh, you can go to utopiafest.com to really get the full story. But what we're going to do is we're going to break down the music of Utopia Fest. Um, of course, the only way to really experience it is to come to Utopia Fest, of course. And there's plenty of ways to get there, become a part of the street team, buy tickets. Uh, right now, they got a buy five, get one free, which is, which is incredible. So uh, that you got to hurry up on that one. That, that's going to uh, expire June 1st. But uh, go ahead and um, explain just briefly how, um, you know, you, you, you pick your lineup here because there is a variety from the bottom to the top, from your headliners to your opener. Super intentional. Yeah. How do you, how do you, you know, from all of these and, and the pool of music, to land all of these, I mean, Grandmaster Flash, <laughs> to land yeah. what you've put on this lineup is, it's magical, Man, you know. I'm super proud of it. Yeah. So it all starts essentially from, you know, just writing a list of my favorite bands, uh, essentially, and I guess, and then I'll take a feedback from whoever I'm working with on it, you know, and kind of the whole team and the whole broader community. So this year, I uh, started a new partnership with Down in the Oaks Entertainment, who are the property owners, and they have their own kind of production company going on. So uh took some of their feedback and their kind of favorite bands, threw it into the mix as well. And, and uh, you know, so we just have kind of this master spreadsheet, and then you just have your favorites, and you go through and just kind of start weeding them out which happens really quickly depending on the pricing and availability. Mm-hmm. Um, that feels like a dream gig, though. Like, I'm no, going to awesome. put all of my favorite <laughs> bands on the list and then I'm going to try to get them to my town. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. Man, just having so many of my favorite bands in the entire world playing out in the past year at Utopia was just mm-hmm. kind of absurd and definitely a, a dream. Surreal? Does it yeah. feel surreal? Yeah, oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it's definitely... Especially during the weekend. I mean, it is like, what is going on? Uh, <laughs> like, yeah. This is just <laughs> insane. All your ideas come to life and... and yeah. Yeah, and it, it's kind of out of your control at that point, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but just, I mean, literally, my like my favorite bands, like no matter how what size or where they're from, like a lot of them have been out there. It's just, it's just been wild. But, but, you know, we do absolutely keep in mind to have a wide variety because you know never wanted to be a, a bluegrass or americano or jam or you name it festival i've always wanted to keep it super eclectic where you couldn't yeah you could just never pin it down <laughs> we've tried to find that kind of middle ground between hippie and hipster and country people music you know um but it's always we've always really gone gone for bands that have positive messages and are really fun to listen to and just musicianship you know Mm -hmm. Uh, always kind of tend towards bands that have you know just top level musicians (laughs) yeah and and that too i mean we really like to go for bands that are just cool people as well and and we've been really there's just been one or two in in the last nine years that have been a little bit of challenging personalities but Mm -hmm. you know for the most part like they've just been super cool yeah. people in the bands and crews and they just come out and really love it like you know we really like bands that are going to come and get into the experience and take part in the weekend and there's been a pretty wide range of, of bands that have done that you know sometimes especially the bigger ones have to just come in and go but, but <laughs> yeah. sometimes even you know bands from out of town will come in and camp out and fully participate Mm-hmm. and get into it and i saw capiac had a pretty awesome little temple set up <laughs> last year <laughs> yeah no, <laughs> a totally. great little pad they really did everything you could do i mean they yeah they 
set up at Crazy Home Base. They shot a music video. They they were the only band to play the one of the main stages in the Silent Disco and Tank Good Times. Mm -hmm. Actually, I guess they will go down as the only band that ever did all three of those because there's never going to be a a Tank Good Times in that setting. Wow. So that's, yeah, that's it, true. It'll be Good Times Grove this year. Very so. cool. Yeah, Team Good Times can can go anywhere. They're a team, you know. Absolutely, but yeah. Take good times. The memories there are definitely, uh, you know, vivid because it's such a quiet, intimate thing. Um, nothing. I've never been to anything like that. Neither have I. I mean, it. Uh, the first time I went to one was at Old Settlers in 2015 or 14. It might have been, and it just completely blew my mind. Rock my world, and I met. That's when I met the Deer and like discovered Elephant Revival mm -hmm. and just. And a lot of friends who are now like family to me. I mean, it literally changed my life that experience, and and that was one of the biggest things that I took from another festival. I was like, we we have got to do this. And at first, I was just gonna just steal the idea and do it. But then I was like, yeah, like the guy that is the MC and kind of the the host is something about him that like really makes it work and really makes it you know a really great experience. So I tracked him down and just kept on i had to bug him for a few months before he finally agreed to to come and host it and then it just became you know one of the biggest parts of the festival yeah all right let's take a little break here for some music from capiac <laughs> No, no. 
Yeah, but it's I'm really excited for that lineup this year. Let's let's talk about the lineup. I know um, one of the greatest things about being here in this area is I know a lot of these bands, especially the Austin bands. Um, there, some of these bands are staples. You mentioned the Dear Already Calliope musicals as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, a lot of these bands I'm, I'm just discovering through this lineup. I'm one of those people that I see it and I just start picking through it and finding YouTube videos or whatever. A lot of people right. aren't going to do that. Um, but, right. but however... Everybody here is is well established. What I noticed, I kind totally. of picking through it, you know, and seeing that there's a lot of uh, local bands on here. You know, I was I was maybe expecting some. This is maybe some uh, blossoming bands or maybe some first time bands. And no, all of these bands are very well adapted to, much, <laughs> to what we're doing much. here. Uh, start. Tell me. Tell me how you how you put together your Austin lineup. Besides picking through the list, was there anybody here that um, is sort of part of that family that established family you know a lot of them are actually i mean it's it is pretty daunting to be in a town that's chock full of just fantastic bands of all kinds and it's always yeah i really have a challenge to kind of narrow them down but i guess this year you know especially since it was the 10th anniversary if you you'll notice when you start going through the lineup that a lot of a lot of the bands on the lineup the local and from out of town have played at least once or twice so in a way i wanted to have a little bit of like a best of feel and kind of bring over a lot of the the bands that have been a part of it the culture uh to kind of celebrate the 10th year and take us into the next chapter so a lot of the local bands are veterans for sure you know like, like the deer i guess this is their third or fourth one and hikes are coming back calliope is, is a big part of it uh hard proof has been there before uh, Mixer Rogers is always DJs. Um, Middle Spoon played last year, so I mean, most of them at Trouble on the Streets. Shane, uh, most so mo- a lot of them have have been there before. Um, but I do ho- I do look forward to in the years to come to really kind of expand the the local community um, into Utopia Fest because I mean there are just so many bands here that I love and that I'm friends with that I really want to want to bring in at some point and i know that uh so some of the, my friends might get frustrated because i can't you know can't bring in all the bands mm-hmm. that i want to and and i definitely feel a wave of disappointment every time we come out with a lineup and that that is like the, the hardest thing uh, one of the hardest things about the job is like having to let down uh, so many awesome bands that i would love to to have you know but yeah have a part of it but all in good time though and I, you know, I also like to work with bands outside of the fest and shows around Austin and beyond as well. And so many of these bands have evolved. Uh, oh, you oh know, big time. From I, it's Middle Spoon, uh, you know, that's that's sort of a new thing. Yeah. Uh, but but it's 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 been an evolution, it's sort of a collaboration. Um, right. Calliope musical musicals is a huge party. So no doubt, and they've uh, they've really been fun to watch. I mean. My my old original band was playing in town, you know, starting around 2012 or something, and th- we started like kind of right when Calliope was getting started. And so we would pl- we played it several shows together, and just just to see them evolve and just get better and better as musicians and really hone in their show and just see them like growing their nationwide scene has just been really awesome. And they just stay busy. Yeah, they just uh, stay. Absolutely. They're they're constantly. Anytime I look on their schedule, I'm just baffled at how much how much mm-hmm. they're packing in. Speaking of Calliope musicals, let's listen to a little ditty called 1604. Go check out the video on YouTube also for all these songs, <laughs> but for this one too.
Yeah, Trouble in the Streets too has also been really exciting to see. You know, they just got the best best new band in Austin Award. Oh, yeah. very cool. And, yeah. and I saw the Deer won some accolades as well. Yeah, they got this best year. folk band. Yeah, mm-hmm. we and had them all, on, yeah. on the podcast. Uh, they're really fun. Really cool. oh, yeah. beautiful. The new album is is absolutely amazing. Yeah, yeah. So I mean that that has been part of it. I mean having these certain bands that we've kind of grown as the festival as well, kind of grown alongside of and just continue to bring back because I mean they're such a big part of the community and culture. Mm-hmm. And Cowboy Irie, I know that's you're a little <laughs> you, you play a tiny part in that. Uh, <laughs> that was just a great. I I love that that exists because it, it's, it's it. well. It, I've always kind of revolted against country music, not because right. it's not amazing because it's so goddamn catchy and i and it, i live with it that <laughs> I, I, I can't get those songs out of my head forever i walk around singing the most corny songs uh you know love yeah. songs and i'm like no, i'm not talking to you i'm, not ta- I'm just singing <laughs> to myself it's stuck in there uh but you you found a way to make me relive those songs and love those <laughs> songs again as somebody who's trapped in the country music scene yeah I hear, well it's like yeah everybody grew <clears throat> up with them and mm-hmm. just they're like completely ingrained in your skull so it's fun to kind of to turn them around turn them on, on their head like that and and uh give a fresh look at them and yeah. uh, that's been a, a really a, a big a really fun project to do and it's it's also come a, a really long way in the last couple of years and but yeah i think this year we're just gonna do actually a, a good time set on thursday yeah to make an appearance yeah. you yeah. got to you're there yeah <laughs> and it's it we've anytime we played acoustically it, it is really cool and uh, I think it'll be very fitting for the super late night definitely. crowd. Definitely, when, it, when it's you're t- you're just like I, I I stand in front of the speakers all the time. I'm an idiot. I'm I don't even wear earplugs because I'm I have, I have my camera usually. That, man. <laughs> you gotta get you some earplugs. What? You gotta get you some earplugs. What? You gotta get some, get some <laughs> custom ones made. Shout no, out I to Ham. I just got I got on ham, which is a really amazing thing, and I did the custom earplug thing a couple weeks ago. I'm looking forward to getting those. It would be really good to have. Ham. This is yeah. their sponsor. No, I'm just kidding. Sponsored really, hop, hop on they ham. They kind of are. Hop on ham. Yeah, sponsoring your good health. <laughs> your, yeah. your hearing health. Well, for they life. help out a lot of the bands on, on this list. Oh, cool. Very cool. It, it's really for important, sure. and I, I take it for granted, my hearing. Um, but I just yeah. get so excited, you know, and I don't want to miss anything. But it's stupid. It's really yeah, stupid. Well, anyway, enough of my we'll stupidity. We'll see. I mean, you only have one set of ears <laughs> for now. I mean, we'll see if we can ever get stem cells or yeah. bionic ones put in. But right now, you got to just take care of them. I'm going to bring back the the cone, you know. <laughs> what is that thing? You, know, yeah. you, stick it, you see it in the old-timey, right, right. old-timey things. Right. Um, okay, so you, you mentioned Hard Proof has been back. I looked them up today. They They're also... Everywhere, like I saw them playing a few like four-hour sets in, in Jamaica. Is that right? I didn't see <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, and New Orleans, and so it kind of seems like they're a party crowd. Uh, they're super, know, party crowd super band. party band. Mm-hmm. I, I love a good organist. Bands. Yeah, they're one of my favorite bands ever, man. They just they're all just top-notch, fun as hell players. Yeah. It's really fun. Well, then this one is especially for you, then Travis. This one is hard proof. And it is called Soul Thing.
And I've never heard of San Antonio pipes and drums, but that sounds really fun. Uh, there are tradition. There, you know, some of my cousins in San Antonio are in that band, and they they're kind of a traditional march on Saturday morning. They'll come out and and uh, march around with the bagpipes and the drums. Okay, is this something that happened that I've just been missing? Because I've, I've I guess so. Many years Maybe you slept through it, but I mean, it happened <laughs> last year too. It's yeah. usually a Saturday around noon. Oh, I totally slept through it. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah, it's kind of supposed to be the, the general wake up, but some people are are probably a little annoyed by it. They're well, I was just way out in the woods, way yeah. out there. I, I went as far away as possible nice. and still didn't sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was up all listening to the farthest things I could. Just, um, it, It's one of those places where you, you don't want to miss a thing. You know there's mm-hmm. something awesome going on. You're missing it. And Almost it's like, 24-7, yeah. Yeah, you're defeated. <laughs> you walk around so much. I think I walked like 10 miles the first day. The second day, I'm like, <laughs> all right, dude, pace yourself. Like, all right. We got to make it tank good times tonight. <clears throat> yeah, you do really have to <laughs> plot it out. And if you don't get that nap in. the marathon. Mm-hmm. And this year, it's in November. So right. sleeping will probably not be so tough. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, it's nice like it was this past November. It was, it was sticky. Uh, trying to sleep in, in past years, I, I imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, it was always a little hot or a little muddy. <laughs> yeah. The mud. There's some epic stories of the mud. Oh, yeah. Uh, Charles Bradley. That's right. Yeah, yeah that, that was one of the highlights of the whole, the whole run, I think, for sure. Well, when he passed last year during the festival. Right. Uh, not, not at the festival, of course. During but, that but, weekend, yeah. Uh, and, and during that tribute... I, I was sitting next to some people that were there, and they were in tears explaining to me how magical and f- and just, uh, you know, dumbfounded they were to see this full-grown man <laughs> rolling around in the mud. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and, and, of course, you know, you lived it. I didn't, but uh, I was able to, in that moment, there was there was this silence, that moment of silence and, and the clarity and the, the just the the vastness of the sky and just wondering you know what else is out there here we are all collected in this field <laughs> in this tiny town that nobody would really know existed if it wasn't for, for utopia fest or a, a golfing movie um right yeah that was a that was a really powerful moment for sure and just mm-hmm. the, the fact that he did pass during that weekend was just just so weird i felt yeah, like it was a good was, send-off though like that yeah that, and it really like set the tone yeah it was awesome that we could all be there together to to give him that respect and just really set the tone and the vibe and like the message of the weekend you know like i you know before you know i'll do the emceeing and stuff and i just have no idea what i'm gonna say specifically ever you know mm-hmm. but like when i was able to come up and and share first share the news that he passed but then it just kind of opened the door to be like you know he was i would always say he was like the heart of the festival just because he was all about just the message of love and Mm -hmm. unity and change and you can take his word for the better yeah yeah Yeah, he was a genuine person and and yeah you you felt that um just in the performance i saw on this on the screen you guys play and i've since gone and and I've, I've watched interviews with him and I've watched old performances and just to see his career and to see it come to, yeah. yeah, to end up at Utopia Fest and to have that <laughs> sort of... Twice. Yeah. Be, yeah, we were so lucky to have him twice. I mean, you know, Sound on Sound had him booked twice, but he mm. had health problems both times and he never got to play. Oh. So we were so lucky to, to have him yeah. out there twice. So yeah, a lot of people there had Fantastic. been there for both of the shows and it, it was so cool that we got, you know we had to f- kind of fight through that rainy one and it, that was a really bonding experience but then he just got to come back that second time and it was perfect weather and just crush it like full blast mm-hmm. and like really you know have the full show i mean it was uh, it was a, incredible let's take a trip back in time to utopia fest 2012 in the epic performance by charles bradley and his extraordinaires rest in peace charles this is the world
about that, that uh, the timing of that. I, I agree that I just, to be able to honor that, that life. It, the very day, I mean. Yeah. What yeah. the hell? Yeah. Amazing. Um, okay. So I met Sid Fly last year. That's your pops, right? He's, a, he's my cousin. Your cousin. Yeah, he's the man. Okay. I, 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 we were actually just in Utopia last weekend at his birthday party, and he had about 80 <laughs> of our cousins all there, and we just had kind of an open mic jam for five hours and we all got up there and played some and yeah, he's he's awesome and he's been a big part of it the whole time he's he's actually the only band to play on all, all nine and now 10 utopia fest he he also so we have the, the pipes of drums tradition on saturday but he's the, he's the traditional opener on friday but he just built all kinds of stuff for us, worked his, his ass off over the years, and just has been a super big encourager and backer. And he has always loved it because, you know, he's been doing the music thing forever, and sometimes I think he's just kind of kind of gone away from it a little bit and focused on other stuff and just kind of maybe gotten discouraged or just kind of just gotten old or whatever, but then it just kind of revitalized his love and his passion for playing yeah. a lot which is so it's been a really beautiful thing yeah he said he was able to sort of get back together with a lot of friends that he only really mm. gets to do this with right it's, it's uh on my uh my uncle robbie is one of them is that right <laughs> yeah. i didn't i didn't, had no idea because he plays in so many damn bands mm-hmm. and seeing him up there on stage like what i didn't know that. that's, that's really cool. cool yeah it was a surprise to me but um, yeah all the flies are super good people <laughs> they're pretty fly they're yeah. fly the cool fellas. Shout out flies. Let's get to some of your busiest bands, some of your hard to reach bands, the ones that you're you're definitely. I know you were talking about that list, and I'm imagining a list for me. It would be you know a few pages of this book, and mm-hmm. by the end of it, to have this down there, the wave of disappointment. Yeah, but there's also <laughs> those moments where it's like you win a great eBay auction too, and you get oh, that band. Hundred <laughs> percent. Which one of those? Which which one of those on this list really just like when you when they confirmed was just kind of a, you know, a static moment? I mean, for this particular year, I know every right. year you've had it, but I, it can't get old. There's no way. Well, I think I mean I think the biggest surprise slash the easiest one was was Grandmaster. I mean, I mean he wasn't even he wasn't really on the radar uh, that much. I mean he wasn't even really in the top list. It just wasn't somebody we really considered, even though. Uh, we, we always like to get a solid, you know, classic, uh, again, positive, fun hip hop band in there or act. And we just hadn't really filled that spot. And I didn't even know if we were going to this year. But then I just got an email from a buddy of mine, Seth Cohen, who's an awesome agent that just has an incredible roster. I booked Ohio players with him at, at Empire and uh, he just has all like that kind of like Morris Day and he does like village people and just all kinds of like awesome old like classic yeah. bands. So he emailed me and, and he'd mentioned, I mean, I should have thought of it early in the process, but you know, he he had told me before that, that Flash was looking for special opportunities. He just didn't want to do the old club circuit or shows anymore. So he was looking for cool stuff and just, you know, one day he hit me up and reminded me, and then and I looked at the the schedule, and there was a pretty nice opening for Thursday, and I felt like we could use a little bit more heft on the Thursday lineup. I was like, man, that would be an awesome fit there, and so I uh, sent him an offer, and it literally took like an hour to get wow. it done, which is what a ridiculous. Cool dude. You know, <laughs> yeah, like they were just like, yeah, well, d- you know, done. So that was. And that was like in one day, you know, that I, that he reached out and I was like, yeah, that that would be awesome. And he's like, oh, oh, really? Okay, and got it done. I mean, it was it was ridiculous. Consider yourself an unlearned person if you don't know who Grandmaster Flash is. The man who needs no introduction. Let's go way back in time. This is Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five with the message. It's 
It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Broken glass everywhere. People on the stage, you know they just don't care. I can't take the smell, can't take the noise. Got no money to move out, I guess I got no choice. Rats in the front room, roaches in the back. Junkies in the alley with the baseball bat. I tried to get away, but I couldn't get far. Cause a man with the tow truck repossessed my car. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. Standing on the front stoop, hanging out the window, watching all the cars go by, roaring as the breezes blow. A crazy lady living in a bag, eating out of garbage pails, used to be a fag hag, such a dash to tango, skipped the life and dango, a zircon print to seem to lost her senses. Down at the peep show, watching all the creeps, so she could tell her stories to the girls back home. She went to the city and got so, so, so diddy, she had to get a pimp, she couldn't make it on her own. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. <laughs> It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. My brother's doing fast on my mother's TV. Says she watches too much. It's just not healthy. All my children in the daytime, Dallas at night. Can't even see the game or the Sugar Ray fight. The bill collectors, they ring my phone and scare my wife when I'm not home. Got a bum education, double digit inflation. Can't take the train to the job. There's a strike at the station. Neon King Kong standing on my back. Can't stop to turn around. Broke my sacroiliac, a mid range migraine, cancer membrane. Sometimes I think I'm going insane. I swear I might hijack a plane. Don't push me. Call, I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. My son said, Daddy, I don't want to go to school because the teacher's a jerk. He must think I'm a fool. And all the kids smoke reefer. I think it'd be cheaper if I just got a job, learn to be a street sweeper. I dance to the beat, shut for my feet, wear a shirt and tie, and run with the creeps. Because it's all about money. Ain't a damn thing funny. You got to have a con in this land of milk and honey. They push that girl in front of the train, took her to the doctor, sold her arm on the game. Stab that man right in his heart. Gave him a transplant for a brand new start. I can't walk through the park cause it's crazy after dark. Keep my hand on my gun cause they got me on the run. I feel like an outlaw, broke my last glass jaw. Hear them say, you want some more? Living on a seesaw. Don't push me cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head. Say what? It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes. It makes me wonder how I keep from going under. A child is born with no state of mind, blind to the ways of mankind. God is smiling on you, but he's frowning too, because only God knows what you'll go through. You'll grow in the ghetto, living second rate, and your eyes will sing a song of deep hate. The places you play and where you stay looks like one great big alleyway. You'll admire all the number book takers, thugs, pimps, and pushers, and the big money makers. Driving big cars, spending 20s and 10s, and you want to grow up to be just like them. <laughs> Smugglers, scramblers, Burglars, gamblers, pickpocket peddlers, even panhandlers. You say, I'm cool, huh? I'm no fool. But then you wind up dropping out of high school. Now you're unemployed, all non-void. Walking around like your pretty boy Floyd. Turned stick up, kid, but look what you done did. Got sent up for an eight-year bid. Now your manhood is took and you're a Maytag. Spend the next two years as an undercover fag. Being used and abused to serve like hell. To one day, you was found hung dead in the cell. It was plain to see that your life was lost. You was cold and your body swung back and forth but now your eyes sing the sad sad song of how you live so fast and die so young so don't push me cause i'm close to the edge i'm trying not to lose my head <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes it makes me wonder how i keep from going under <laughs> it's like a jungle sometimes it makes me wonder how i keep from going under <laughs> yo mel you see that girl man, yeah, man. Yo, that sound like cowboy, man. Yo, what's up, buddy? Yo, 
and Wiz Khalil and Raheem, man. Lay upstairs, cooling out. So what's up for the night, y'all? Yo, we can go down to the feet, man. Let's go check out June, bro, man. Hey, yo, you know that girl Betty? Yeah, man. My mom's got balls, man. Not what? Again, she man. got hurt. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? Don't nobody move nothing. Y'all know what this is. Get him up. What? Get him up. Yo, man, we down with Grand Lance, the Flash, and the Fury. That's the bottom. What is that, a gang? No. Shut up. I don't hear you up now. Shut up. Officer, what's the problem? Get him. You the problem. Get him. You the problem. Yo, you ain't got to answer, man. Get in the car. Get in the gas. Get in the car. Why is he doing this? He's gonna have a blast, dude. He's gonna have so yeah, much he's gonna, he's gonna love be it. Welcome, so no, and, and I've I've heard a lot from a lot of firsthand accounts that he's just a super super cool guy, and so I think yeah, I think he's gonna love it for sure. So the guy started it all, everybody. If yeah. You, if you're into hip hop, you have Grandmaster Flash to thank for yeah for your whole the whole uh, even mumble rap. <laughs> 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 we'll see how uh, never saw that coming. We'll see how it goes over with the, with the burn it scene. I know uh, mm-hmm. it's, you know, just like in Utopia, there's always going to be the crowd of, of people that are, that have lived there for generations or even not, you know, not that long, but just kind of the more uh, hill country like, like to have their privacy, good old boy, type of feel that, that are definitely a little frightened of change and big gatherings doubling the population stuff which is understandable you know mm-hmm. can't blame them but we look forward to really sharing with everyone around there what it is actually about and like having them actually experience it you know because there was definitely like i said the same sentiment around utopia fest like oh god there's going to be a, hordes of austin hippies coming in to do drugs and destroy the town but you know after we were there year after year it's like we got more of the the, the local support and everybody that i grew up with and was in my kind of life for the most part was just a big part of it but but anyway so <laughs> i uh a lot of times i would try to you know ease them into it on thursday but there were there was a couple of nights a couple of years where i didn't do as good of a job like when we had sip sip open it and just completely everything went out the window as far as a way to be subtle yeah, <laughs> yeah. so but so i i do uh, so hopefully we'll have a nice and easier transitional band to start with but I don't know. <laughs> I think it'll be fine though. He'll, he's he's got like an hour. He'll play like an hour, ninety minutes, and I, I don't think it'll be too crazy. He set, definitely but set the tone though on Thursday. Yeah, night. it's gonna be a party <laughs> yeah. for sure. Yeah. And then uh, you know, so then Utopia players are gonna play after him, which is the the r- rotating cast mm-hmm. where I have one musician curate the lineup and the songs. And this year it's gonna be Adrian Casada, who's a huge part of the of the Utopia Fest scene. He's, you know, from, he used to be in Grupo and he's in Brownout and, okay. and, uh, Echocentrics. He's played probably five or six times at Festival International de Lafayette in, Laf- uh, in Louisiana in April, uh, which is everybody needs to go to. I met the Hey Babies there and they completely blew my mind and I brought them over. But then the year after that, I met uh, Lisa LeBlanc, who is friends of, of of theirs. And she is like equally as badass and just yeah, like does. Really cool. Yeah, she just crushes it on the banjo and the guitar. After watching a few Lisa LeBlanc videos, I am an instant fan. This one here is for our English speakers. <laughs> this is called You Look Like Trouble, but I guess I do too. The smell of your old cigarette has stayed on my coat, and even though I find it kind of gross, it somehow comforts me. Great thing about us is that we're practically the same And you know that's what scares me the most My heart's always traveled with me in my suitcase And I guess I don't want to see it ending up in yours Well, you look like trouble, but I guess I do too Well, you look like trouble, but I guess I do too. You and I both know a gypsy's heart can't settle down, so if you don't mind me asking, 
music videos as well uh, uh, right some really good production as well yeah so. i mean she's she's killing it in canada i mean she's she's huge up there very uh plays really so are the Joplin babies type energy right in her in her oh, voice totally. and in her demeanor just you know she's got like, an amazing stage presence yeah, yeah relentless i love mm-hmm. it very powerful yeah so i was i was really trying to same with the hey babies i really have trying to give them audiences here around these parts because i mean you know they really deserve to be known and seen a lot more than they are it was in a the great US. set last year with the wind blowing through you know and mm-hmm. they were just chanting <laughs> the wind. it was it was really awesome yeah I, yeah i love all that all those bands that just again they're uh, those the babies and lisa and their bands are all super cool people as well and we're uh, my wife and i are actually going up to canada to hang out with all them in august I'm jealous. Uh, Canada won't let me in. Oh, shit. Yeah, I've, I burned some bridges back in 08 <laughs> <laughs> with Canada. Oh, no. <laughs> not not Canada that. specifically, you guys. But yeah, you just did things that w- will prohibit your Canada entry. Canada should forgive me. If anybody should, it should be Canada. They're cause. like the, the nicest people, but mm-hmm. if you have one slip up, they're not, they're not coming in. It's the same over there, too, though. I've got a... Right. Uh, uh, person that i love tremendously over there that i can't go see but i can i can fly her here <laughs> she can come here because <laughs> she's not a criminal um so weird but yeah they have the same deal it, it's it's really sad but i think if i ever become an established maybe this thing becomes like a world traveling then i can use my work visa Is that which right? sort of will put that a little in the back i can only stay there for a little bit but i have to do something of this <laughs> this nature but maybe I'll interview some Canadian bands. If there's any Canadian bands listening right now, please. <laughs> Lisa, get them up I, there. I will get to the border if you get me <laughs> to where you're at. I'll sneak me in in a moose corpse, something. That's hilarious. So speaking of <laughs> the bands that I'm trying to get some exposure and recognition that are big in their own place, uh, I don't know if you checked that band out, All We Are. Yes, they are, I did. Yeah. They have like an 80s feel. <laughs> they, I think they call it their stuff, uh, BGs on benzos or something. But they're they're definitely very eclectic, 
a lot of dynamics and they are just playing every festival in Europe they're from Liverpool and they're again they're just totally crushing it in Europe but they this is going to be their first show in in America and that's that's one of the a band that I'm investing a lot in to bring over that no one is going to have any idea who they are but they're just going to get here and they're just going to completely completely melt faces and they're actually going to play pretty late night at a extremely prime spot um people like again a lot of people are just gonna have no idea who they are and they're just gonna blow them away but then they're gonna also do the good times as well so they're like a band that can do both which is my favorite type of band that can can really blow you away full electric as well as totally unplugged <laughs> yeah you can kind of hear travis getting a little distracted with the sound of the welder in the background don't be distracted. If you got distracted by it, just circle back around, push it to the background, and move on. Because uh, you missed a really cool intro to this band, which is All We Are. This is the song Utmost Good. I have heard of Keller Williams forever. The dude's yeah. been around. And I this this had me interested because he's got two sets. He's, he's headlining and then he's got another... Uh, the, the Petty Tribute. Yeah. What, petty what's, Grass. What's the the difference there? Well, uh, you know, the oh, okay. Petty Grass is, is going to be a set of, you know, Tom Petty covers grass style. I, I could have gathered that. Yeah, with him and the, and the Hillbenders. <laughs> he previously did a, a similar thing a few years ago. Where he did Grateful Grass with Jeff Austin, and they did it, you know, a, a dead set, and he played solo as well. But he, yeah, I mean, he's a huge staple in the kind of jam grass scene. 
and he's also just like a one man band one of the probably most well known one man acts ever probably and what's cool about when he does his, his one man thing like he sometimes it'll be totally grassy americana funky he'll, then he'll go into like one time i saw him at antones i think and it was like super electronic <laughs> like really yeah. like completely different and unexpected but he just got bored <laughs> i guess so <laughs> he got bored for a little bit but i mean it, he has just so many side projects that he does too they're just all kinds of different stuff very cool. Um, that's that's a great. Uh, you know, we need a petty tribute right now. Everybody's missing. Yeah, petty. that'll be a <laughs> right that'll now. be an awesome sing along. Yeah. And this is the part of the podcast where not only do you get introduced to Keller Williams if you don't already know who Keller Williams is, but you get to sing along to something that you already know. This is kind of the thing that is going to happen. Only I imagine uh, more bluegrass instruments. This is a little sing-along here. Of course, it's a Tom Petty cover. And then immediately following is in is a Kelly, Keller Williams original. Okay? So, stick around. Let me ride with you tonight. I'll take you on the moonlight ride. There's someone I used to see. She don't give a damn for me. Let's get to the point, let's roll another joint, let's head on down the road, and somewhere I gotta go, because you don't know how it feels, you don't know how it feels, you don't know how it feels. Come and people go Some grow young and some grow cold I woke up in between A memory and a dream now Let's get to the point Let's grow when the joy I'm too alone to be proud Cause you don't know how it feels You don't know how it feels You don't know how it feels To be me That was fun. Okay. So, Kelly Williams doing a little bluegrass tribute to Tom Petty, of course, at the festival. Uh, let's listen to a super groovy song called Kidney in a Cooler by Kelly Williams. Sufficient cool and leak Well, we thought we were doing the right thing 
Now you cannot be too picky in Cheyenne on a Sunday. Then I walk the mechanic with the perpendicular teeth. Perpendicular teeth. Perpendicular teeth. Perpendicular teeth. Oh yeah. Perpendicular teeth. Perpendicular teeth. Perpendicular teeth, oh yeah. About 17th hour, they pulled us up in the bay. And Foggy too started digging down under the hood. After clearing a path to the water pump to taking a four hour break. By hour 27, we were all good. Then we sailed from Little America. Oh, we sailed from Little America. We sail from Little America, oh yeah. We sail from Little America, oh we sail from Little America, oh we sail from Little America, oh yeah. Later, on the way down to Deep Ellum, we broke down in Oklahoma, where a wind come behind the rain. We got towed to down called Perry, where a woman's car took priority. She had a kidney and a cooler, so two nights we had to stay so she could deliver the kidney, deliver the kidney, deliver the kidney. Oh yeah, deliver the kidney. Deliver the kidney, deliver the kidney, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well if you go down to Deep Ellum, to the Gypsy Tea Room, tell them I'm broke down in Perry and I'll try to make it back soon. Oh sweet mama, your daddy got them Deep Ellum blues. Oh, sweet mama, your daddy got them deep yellow blue. Now I know I will be paying on the concept after it through. Unrealistic maybe, but there's something I got to do. I need a big ass bus with a satellite dish, a double decker, double wide. What I wish I, I dream open eye that this be true. My double decker, double wide. My double deck double wide. My double deck double wide. Oh yeah. My double deck double wide. My double deck a double wide. My double deck double wide. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ice makers and both refrigerators as silent but a violent generator to run the subwoofers and the disco ball to escalate the up to the dance hall on the second floor with a giant skylight a driving range and a cool just right for skinny dipping right after the show at 80 miles an hour it's worth all the dough until then I'll stand on the corner with a sign that says it will work for my a double deck and double wide until then I will stay on the corner with a sign that says it will work for my a double deck and double wide perpendicular teeth in little America deliver the kidney in my double deck and double wide perpendicular teeth in little America deliver the kidney in my double deck and double wide perpendicular teeth in little America Deliver the kidney in my double dagger double wide perpendicular teeth little America deliver the kidney in my double decker a double wide perpendicular teeth little America deliver the kidney in my double dagger double wide perpendicular teeth little America deliver the kidney in my double deck of double wine
But what's the thing with him though is he was actually the first kind of bigger or more established band to give us a chance back in 2011. You know, because when we were first trying to reach out to to these bigger bands from out of town, you know, and dealing with agents for the first time, they're like, "So who who played last year?" And like, how many people were there? And, and we're like, "Well, you wouldn't recognize them." And there was like 300 people. So like, okay, <laughs> but somehow we, you know, first convinced Keller to do it, and then once Keller agreed, then it was then you could tell the other bands oh well Keller Williams is playing and then like we got Dawes and we're like oh, okay Dawes is playing and so and then it was a little bit easier as it went on and so but, but I'll always have a, a tremendous amount of appreciation for him and so I thought it was very uh, appropriate for him to be to kick off the new 2.0 new location new new chapter the reboot the re- reboot the reboot but um and yeah, you know, it's it's fantastic that you were able to get these all these bands back. Mm-hmm. That really makes it feel more like a reunion, no doubt. You know, than a festival almost. And it's funny, I oh, I'm gonna turn my mic up. I say it feels like a reunion. Now, I've never I I went last year for my first time. Everybody that listens knows that. Uh, I'm very like sad that I missed all these years. But the first time that I went, I felt like a part of the family. Mm -hmm. There was no separation of like, hey, look, here's the new guy. Or you don't know what the hell you're doing or where you're camping. It was just such an embrace from everybody. It was incredible. Oh, that's what's amazing. It's uh, everybody is so warm and welcoming there. I mean, it's just. But I noticed that about the bands. Right. The the bands felt that way on stage. The way that they were Mm -hmm. talking to the audience. That's the only time I felt left out of something. Because they were sharing memories right there on stage, like, oh, it was this time last year, and I'm just going like, ah, this is like, <laughs> what have I been missing? You know, I, I vowed to never miss another year. Yeah. <laughs> no, and that's, so. and that's how we get, you know, some of the best shows that these bands have played, you know, because they feel so comfortable, and we go the extra mile to really take care of every everything they need, anticipate their needs, just make them feel super comfortable in their home, so that, and that enables them to just completely focus on the show and you know they just go over the top with with their with their shows so yeah it's there's so much freedom there yeah Uh, you know at some of these bigger festivals you go to there's huge contracts that have to get signed ahead of time as to what they can say can't say climb and can't climb and uh, yeah. I don't think there's any of that here. Seeing people rolling around in the mud and <laughs> confetti cannons popping off, and I mean it's pretty amazing. I, I, I'm overusing that word. I don't know what else to use. I'm gonna. <laughs> we'll we'll find another word. Yeah, um, the, the main the it's main rule we try to <laughs> tell them is you know just keep it family friendly. But again, that's yeah. part of the picking them to the bands that we uh, we know that are that vibe, and they know that that's that's part of it. So that's but that's mainly the only thing we encourage bands do yeah and it is it is family friendly i saw like 200 kids there and i'm gonna bring my kids we had over 250 last year that's yeah. right Aha, i did my own head count i wasn't counting kids but you know that's a, that's a, that's an <laughs> awesome guess when i yeah. see four and i'm like yeah it's not really family friendly some bad parents here but i saw so many kids that i was just yeah. like oh my poor kids are at home wondering <laughs> what i'm doing but i didn't know what to expect no, so i, I didn't yeah, bring you them. can't blame you no uh, i yeah no, i had i looked back just the other day and to, to see how many we had and it was mm-hmm. over 250 uh, and they were happy yeah. dude oh, they, they were had, so happy they have, a, they have a blast and that really sets a tone that make that also really makes it special it's like i don't know one year like somebody was like man it just feels so so wholesome out here mm-hmm. like you know that that that's a good positive super positive and uplifting feeling and i mean it's, and it also just kind of it helps to encourage people to moderate and to be a little pro- more professional and responsible with their partying. You know, it's like, oh, there's there's kids all over the place. So you know, you got it makes you be a little bit more aware of yourself mm-hmm. and how you're acting, and which is which is great. You know, it just makes it a better experience for everybody. Yeah, because there's too many places nowadays to feel not safe, right. and and to be in a place of of. Um, you know where there's other families families you know you're looking out for each other it's kind of built into you you know so yeah 
you know, maybe that's just showing my age. I'm just, I want a mature crowd. I want, a, want, a, want an older crowd. No, they're not old. They're not old. <laughs> this yeah. is mature. <laughs> they're old souls. <laughs> yeah, you guys. All ages fest, by the way. I don't know if you caught wind. This, I mean, I'm just going to take a second here to say, holy shit, how much music is on this podcast from all these amazing people. Again, thank you, Travis and Utopia Fest, for pulling this together. This is going to be so fun. This is going to be such a great weekend. From Thursday to Sunday, I'm going to need a week off. It's like, just like to relive all these moments. And of course, I'm going to bring my camera. Man, this is Patty Griffin. I'm about to announce a song by Patty Griffin. It's called Snake Charmer. I did it. I'm coming for you, coming for you. Yeah, I'm seeing all the signs. First all the little humiliations and then you will read a sign. But I'm a snake charmer, snake charmer. Okay, so we're, we're reaching up towards the top of the lineup here, and on the poster, they're rainbow, they're, they're bigger than all the other ones, and they really stand out in my mind because they're all very, they're legends. Uh, Lucas Nelson, <laughs> son of Willie Nelson, uh, has his own voice, has his own thing going, and you can yeah. tell he's been on stage with his dad his whole life. <laughs> this guy is so comfortable. Uh, Patty Griffin, legend. Um, totally. A voice, uh, a voice that, that has, you know, melted people's hearts for decades, you know? Yeah. Uh, and Sound Tribe. These guys, I don't know if they, like, if, I don't know. It seems like they've sort of created a euphoria of sound that has push so many like bass nectar who's basically just all digital strongle a lot of these bands sound tribe was there when all that was uh, was taking place kind of opening up and still to this day without any gimmicks without mm. any so, you know uh w of course lights which goes with the music uh right. without any sort of costumes without anything they can make pa Musical crowds ship. pass out <laughs> with yeah. how much energy they emit back it's incredible um, yeah and they just have such a huge just rabbit band base you know yeah. it's, just, it's almost it's like a whole family in itself that not a lot of ba bands you know have they're just 
speak yeah to speak yeah. on that of course that that's uh and it's a tribe and we're yeah <laughs> we have quite literally yeah and we're uh <laughs> super lucky i mean it's going to be their only texas show of 2018 so that's a pretty pretty lucky to have that wow yeah, yeah. only show you hear that the, the only, only texas, texas show, show. Of 2018 so no matter where you live in texas unless it's amarillo and they're playing in new mexico <laughs> but <laughs> yeah <clears throat> We are just getting warmed up. This is STS-9, Sound Tribe Sector 9. Dude. God. Come on, November. When the dust settles, STS-9.
uh, Lucas Nelson. Now, he looks a lot like his dad, and he kind of sounds like his dad, but he's not, like, he's more of, like, an alternative country, it feels like. Mm -hmm. Sort of, um, it's not, it's definitely not a singer-songwriter in any way. Uh, No, no doubt. It's definitely rocking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what's great about him is, yeah, you know, he doesn't try to... Like, he, you know, he owns the fact that he's Wooly's son. He mm-hmm. doesn't try to overly, like, exploit it, and he doesn't try to, like, run from it, or doesn't try to, like, super distinguish himself. But, I mean, he, I think he's just spot on with, like, honoring his dad and his mm-hmm. legacy, and he even does sound a lot like him at, at times, but he has just found his own voice yeah. and, and his own crowd. I mean, it's, he's... He's a chip off the old block. Like, yeah, he's not just riding the coattails either or whatsoever, mm-hmm. not just making it because he's well he's son. I mean he's just genuinely a badass and yeah just really, really he's, he's, well. he's and, yeah he was he raised gets, by the best I yeah mean. I mean absolutely he has the best teacher <laughs> who's got more time great. on stage than Willie <laughs> he gets an awesome dance too Lucas Nelson and promise of the real find yourself super cool check it out
and I might add, uh, <coughs> uh, we also have uh, Willie's other son, Lucas's brother, Micah, is, is in Particle Kid, and he's. Oh, you know, I really love Particle awesome Kid. Stuff. Yeah, he's oh. also on here as well. Uh, I did not know he was another one of uh, Willie's bloodline. That's. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's uh, mm-hmm. Lucas's brother. Very cool. Um, they're fun as hell. Particle yeah. Kid is really funny, and and a thinker band too. Like, Heady, yeah. they will make you think. <laughs> they will awaken you. We've done some <laughs> stuff with Insects vs. Robots, who, uh, uh, who's his other project, and they they do some really amazing things. They have some awesome music out there, but so do, yeah, so does Particle Kid. I guess he's putting more more of his focus and energy into into that project right now. So, yeah, so he'll be there. Is that also, like punk country. <laughs> what is that? Like, how do you describe that? It's like <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's pretty uh, rocking, man. It's rocking, but it's, it has like a '60s feel. It has like a real vintage feel to a lot of it. Yeah. You can decide for yourself what it is. This is Particle Kid. Everything is bullshit. <laughs> Everything, everything, everything is bullshit. It's bullshit. Everything, 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 everything is bullshit. It's bullshit. Came out of a bull. It landed on the ground. A little ego invented a new language, but then he built a tower, designed a system of power. You know, I read it in the paper. He made a tiny computer that fits inside your hand. Communicate across the planet Look back into the cosmos Post a picture for your Facebook Make a profile on your Snapchat Murder people from a distance And laugh at the yos of cats You know, we, and we did 
Willie was at the very top of the list, obviously, is who we were going for. Uh, yeah. 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 So we were hoping to get all three of them to be able to bust out some of their Willie and the Boys Ooh. stuff. Cause he's, they, they've done a couple albums together mm-hmm. now, but... But uh, I guess Willie made other tour plans so he can. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to be in town, but but uh, that was the goal at first. But we're we're super stoked to have uh, the boys there. Yeah. At least. Yeah, that's the. It, there's there's a few bands we didn't talk about. Uh, Moving Matter. Uh, that's one of the bands that I'm actually not familiar with. What's they're, what are they uh, all about? Well, they're kind of we you know we have like a couple special reunion bands. It could be a, a little group there uh moving about is josh josh pearson who now is famous for a live one but he he does a lot of solo and other he's in several different projects uh but it's kind of a just a local best kind of jam, you know jam type of world thing but uh they were doing they used to play a lot around here and and on the road and they they did really well for a long time and i guess they kind of were on somewhat of a hiatus for uh, several years and they're and they they just played a show I think about a month ago and they're so they're kind of getting it back together but they're really awesome, mm-hmm. uh, but they're actually going to do a, a silent disco set which will be fun. Very cool. After, you know they only drive. got together so they could start practicing for Utopia Fest. Now Maybe guys, so. we got five Maybe months. So. Let's start so, now. But yeah, speaking of special <laughs> reunions though, so the bl- the Blue Hit uh, is one of the ones we're most excited about. But they're, and they're also doing an exclusive late night uh, Good Times set. And that is started with Grace Park from The Deer and John McGee from Middle Spoon. Mm-hmm. And, and well, David from the Brother Brothers. So they're all coming and they all have their uh, new bands, but they're all going to do their the thing that kind of started it a lot of it or started it off for, for some of these guys. Uh, the Blue Hit used to go on the road a lot and just have really solid followings around Austin and just really c- kind of kick-started these incredible musicians into their kind of musical journeys and they got a lot of recognition like all over the country just on the on the, the different kind of grass and circles and scenes um, but their their music's really eclectic and badass too um, so I kind of had to convince. I didn't. Well, it didn't really take much convincing. <laughs> they were already. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were down. Yeah, when's um, it happening, dude? I know. Uh, <laughs> we just. We ho- we hope they can all really get, have enough time to really uh, come together and r- and rehash these old songs and make them sound good and, and fresh and polished. We we hope they have the time to do that. Oh yeah. This is probably the chillest jam on the whole the whole podcast right now. And I'm um, super big Grace Park fan, so this is really cool. Really awesome that they're reuniting. Keyword awesome. This song is by the Blue Hit, and it is called Warlike Boys. Can I have your hands? 
Can I have your hands tomorrow? Can I have your hands? Come here by me, my pretty. Won't you come? Can I write you your sweet song tomorrow? Can I write it then? I've got a lot to say, not enough to write down. And when it's gone, oh sinner, it's gone. The Brother Brothers are from the Northeast, so I'm not sure how long they're going to be in town. But yeah, so that that's super. It depends exciting. on the weather. There's a, yeah, there's if a lot. Nice. Uh, there's <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot of excitement about the Blue Hit Blue Hit set down. People only come from down, you know, from the Northwest to for for better weather. That's it. They have everything they need up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all cool up there. Um, let's see, who was another one I was looking at? Oh, Do- uh, Don and Hawks. Uh, are they a couple? Are they a couple? How's that? I, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. Uh, they're, uh, yeah, they're great. Uh, they're Co-writers, obviously, uh, not just a couple. They're, they're, done, they've, <laughs> they're a band. They're a local band that's done really well. We got some <coughs> really good national recognition. Mm-hmm. They have some, a really beautiful video I saw, uh, kind of a traveling video. Go check it out on YouTube. It's super cute. Yeah, they have really amazing chemistry and have some beautiful, beautiful yeah, you see stuff that. going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in this, you know, the the age old tradition of guy girl partnership duet duetism. <laughs> I don't know. I'll let uh, my partner in crime introduce this next one. This is a song by Don and Hawks. Yours and mine. Yeah, good job. <laughs> We get married, have a family I'd like to know you'd stay with me Stick it out through the thick and thin Need our love like oxygen Make it through all the restless nights Never let our love fade out of sight Faithful as the morning light What's mine is yours and yours is mine Mine is yours, yours is mine Ooh, ooh, good things come to those who wait Ooh, ooh, with your love don't hesitate Ooh, ooh, go so close to there's no line Mine is yours and yours is mine Mine is yours, yours is mine On that day you'll be a sight to see The Lord saved the very best for me He gave me courage and He made me strong are just wild enough to take you on We'll make it through all the restless nights And we'll 
don't remember who was wrong or right Cause baby love is a compromise What's mine is yours and yours is mine Mine is yours and yours is mine Come to those who wait Ooh, with your love don't hesitate Ooh, grow so close to there's no line What's mine is yours and yours is mine Mine is yours, yours is mine Very cool. I always like seeing uh, that kind of stuff on stage. The bands that that are also live together, because I mean, a, right. a band in itself is kind of a marriage, and totally. you get sick of each other. But when you mix it all together, it's like you know they spend a lot of time together. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> and they're cool. They're really so cool. Special type of chemistry mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, that John and Yoko feel <laughs> <laughs> less pretentious, but uh, <laughs> it's there. It's better it's, singers. Yeah, it's for. <laughs> We could say that now. We could say that now. <laughs> we've all we've all seen through, uh, you know, seen through the the lens of time, and um, all, so many of those bands that have inspired all these bands, we've you know, they've tried to outshine them. That's the whole point. Is nobody nobody's going to try to revert and be like the Beatles. They want to be better than the Beatles. So, <laughs> uh, uh, another band that has really come a long way since since I've known him as Kalu's new project Kalu and the Electric Joint I kind of I saw or I was around the same time that he started getting started as well uh, I used to see him at open mics over at Housewine probably like a decade ago and and you could definitely tell that he had a, a, something special and a ton of potential back then and I know he's gone through a lot of evolution in his style and and voice and and he's just kind of evolved into this really super powerful musical force and they're just killing it they got on madison house and they're doing a lot of you know a lot of really good good looks and getting a lot of national recognition getting on some good fests i love the name elsewhere. too yeah totally. <laughs> and the electric joint he's <laughs> got a Sounds really badass yeah he's got a really killer band and <clears throat> recording some great stuff so that's gonna be a good one yeah, let's listen to a song by Kalu and the Electric Joint. Too low to get high. Indeed. Got a hole in it. 
Good vibes, man. Yeah. Great vibes. And the just the energy surrounding everything. I'm I'm so excited for you, dude, and for this whole the whole everybody involved in this festival. Um, just this experience. It's so many so much cool shit happening all the time. Mm-hmm. It it goes uh, from November second through November fourth. Well Thursday the Thursday pre party's gonna be uh, the first actually. So we'll have okay. four bands or so that night and then it'll be all day on the second and third. Then we might have like a like a jazz brunch or something on Sunday, but it'll mostly be packing up and heading home. Yeah, if you want to watch that Grandmaster Flash set and that Keller Williams one man band set, definitely yeah. come to the pre party. Utopia players as well. Yeah, yeah, Utopia players. Don't miss oh, the pre party. If you're going to Utopia Fest, go to the pre party. Don't yeah. miss a day. Which okay, so by the way, we didn't we didn't mention the the get down, uh, the big old nasty get down. Okay. Uh, that. Is gonna be another band that a lot of people aren't gonna have any idea who they are, but it's gonna blow people away. Uh, you should you should check out their Facebook or website and see uh, some of their rotating cast that is part of this collective, and it'll just blow your mind. It basically started as a recording project during some New Orleans festival. So I think actually they're in their tenth anniversary as well. So it's cool that they're playing our tenth anniversary. They're in the tenth anniversary of that project. But it started out in New Orleans where there was some festival going on and they just, a bunch of incredible musicians ended up in George Clinton's studio and recorded a, a super sick funk album. And then like they did, I think they're up to the third album now, but just the bands and people that are on this album are absolutely legendary. Like it is just absurd, the, the players on there. but. It's like a fall-off so, band of legends. Is that kind of how it is? It's like, hey, we're, we're doing stuff, but we're not. You want to get together? Well, they're just starting. Together? They're really just kind of starting to try to get it on the road and do shows. That's going to be their first Texas show. But I, I need to del- I need to touch base with who all is going to be here. But, I mean, I know it's like the drummer from Jane's Addiction and, like, some Fishbone guys and some horns from your mama's Big Fat Booty Band. And, but and, but wow. they have, like, a 12-piece Wow, just so picking it's from be, everywhere. Like, yeah, huh? it's going to be an insane cast. But some, uh, I thought of it because some of them will be in Thursday, and they're going to probably sit in on the on the Utopia Player Super Jam. So it's going to be yeah. So there is some super. You have to like look in there, but there's to really get a feel for. There's going to be a super solid funk contingency going on, and even some like jammy you know jazz. We didn't really ma- we haven't mentioned John Medeski's Mad Skill yet, but I mean he's mm-hmm. one of the most legendary piano organ players yep ever um so that'll be some really high energy jazzy funky yeah. stuff let's listen to a song from john medeski's mad skillet the song is warsaw this is from the summer days jazz 2016 it's off the youtube i yanked it off the youtube
it, yeah, yeah, and they've got they're one of those bands that usually plays four sets a night. Right. So you know, so they could they could pull off a an all nighter if yeah. asked to. John Medeski's they got a, a those dudes oh, can probably can could probably play anything. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, and, and I definitely need to shout out Rebel Bucket yes. too. They're, they're coming back. They, that's been one of my favorite. They're sets fun as hell. Had. Yeah. <laughs> they are fun as hell, dude. And they're kind of in a whole world, musical world of their own as well. This would not be the same podcast without a song by Rubble Bucket. This band's too cool in a weird way. What's it called, babe? Carousel Ride. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a uh, right in between pop, kind of, mm-hmm. but um, indie, whatever. Yeah, indie pop, pop indie pop. Uh, but they're but they're definitely right. uh, 
You know, they definitely shine. Yeah, I Again, a watch their music videos. Yeah. Am I the only one that does that still? Do you, do, yeah. do you watch music videos? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, no, yeah, they have some awesome videos. My girlfriend and I sit on like Saturday and Friday nights. If we can't, if we don't have anything to do, we'll just sit and watch yeah. tons of music videos from oh, all I love these bands. going on just YouTube. Yeah. Rabbit some great sure. stuff out there. Every one of these bands has some really cool, either a Tiny Desk concert or a KXEP or a... You know, some sort of, like I mentioned, the, the four, four sets in a night thing. So you can sit there and just, like, throw it on your background. You know, if you got Google Red or YouTube Red or whatever, throw it on. Like, get to know some of these bands ahead of time. And, um, you know, seeing them live, that's... I'm super excited about that because all of these bands have such great energy. Oh, they're all definitely best experience live type of bands. Yeah, I know so. I didn't get that, that feel at home, even though I was ecstatic that all of these bands are going to be in one place. Uh, I'm looking forward to that day. Uh, there's another one we didn't talk about. Uh, choir, choir, choir. Oh yeah. I was What's gonna, well, I was gonna mention. I was gonna segue into that when we were <laughs> talking about Pettygrass because okay. you know Pettygrass is gonna be <clears throat> obviously a huge crowd sing along. But choir, choir, choir is entirely about crowd participation and sing along. Yeah. Like that's their deal. Fun. And they're doing really well on like in the fest circuit, kind of in the north, northeast. Uh, Primarily, they played a lot of the festivals we look up, look up to, but they haven't. For some reason, they haven't really broken it, it all down in these parts. But it's two guys, and they just their whole thing is teaching the crowd, like sometimes like pretty intricate, intricate, um, intricate parts, yeah. intricate <laughs> parts. <laughs> like you know, you know, bands always try to you know teach cr- teach the crowds you know to sing, yeah, like, hey sing along, but sometimes they'll get pretty <laughs> yeah left side ho, right, right. <laughs> But I don't. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do with, with this crowd. It's uh, top-notch crowd work. But no they, uh, that's the whole thing. They'll just teach the crowd parts to songs, and they'll sing them. And sometimes they'll have special guests, like from other, from the other bands, come in mm-hmm. and lead a song. Uh, they just made a really cool video with like uh, David Byrne the other day. Oh they're yeah, doing, from you know, Talking Heads. Yeah, they're so they're getting a lot of. A lot of uh, visibility recognition and really doing some cool stuff. Uh, they have a lot of, a lot of awesome videos too. That's a big part of what they do is make is create videos out of their experiences. But they'll do special tributes for different bands, and so I think that that'll go over super well with our crowd. I, mean, I know they all love to sing and yeah. participate, so that'll be a, a super fun moment. I think there's there's something about the way that everybody, uh, you know, the the way that people dance at, at some of these festivals, how, just how dusty and grimy and everything is, and it's just no stopping it, you know? <laughs> I love that. That's probably one of my... That's the only time I really dance is um, <laughs> is when I'm in a, in a crowd of, <laughs> of yeah. uh, less seasoned dancers like sure. myself. But <clears throat> and what's cool about it, at Utopia, I mean, you know, the crowd, again, is so open and kind and generous and, like, not pretentious at all. Mm-hmm. So people are just There's totally... Some funky dancing, man. People are just totally feel comfortable to do you know to really ex- express themselves and you know don't have to worry about what people are judging or looking at them or whatever you know it's also i'm l- looking forward to is there's always been costumes and stuff oh, out for there. sure well and it's going to be cooler know, way more and oh. uh, the weekend after halloween I mean, oh days man halloween, everybody's so. going to have it right yeah dude yeah hmm i know well, i'm already planning something so <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do it up this year. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm I'm full fledged now. I'm, I'm utopian diehard. Everybody, <laughs> get on board. Heck yeah, man. Don't don't miss it. Seriously, um, Travis, is there is there anything else like I you want to talk about how to get on the street team? Anything like that you want to get uh, people on board? The street team stuff I think would be best found on Facebook. Okay. Unless by the time this goes up, we should put it on the website. But there's links to volunteer and to do vendors and to partner and. Everything else on the website, you know. Yeah, and if you're and too lazy to go there, then you're you're obviously not gonna be a part of the street yeah. team. If you can't go to the website to find it out, then you're probably not gonna be able to do all the things that's required of you on a street team. Yeah. So. And we welcome you know <laughs> questions and concerns and ideas at <laughs> info at at any time as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. definitely. You guys are very responsive, yeah. and um, it, it's a great crew. If you want to volunteer, definitely there's always that opportunity as well. Yeah. They always need help uh, in, in many, many ways. So if you guys uh, want to get involved, contact them. Go to utopiafest.com. 
find out their history. Uh, there's also links on our page. There will be links in these show notes. So there's no way that you will not be provided with a link to, to find out more. Um, I can't thank you enough, man, oh, for, thank you. for really giving, giving, giving us this insight. Yeah, I'm glad we finally made it happen. Yeah, I've been lot. wanting to talk to you for a long time, and I, I really just didn't want it to be about the same old thing. I know you, you've done a lot of a press and stuff, yeah. and so I just really wanted to get down in the nitty gritty. I mean, Utopia Fest, it, you know, it's not, it's not just a, a place. It's not just a thing. It's about, it's about these, this, this family and this music and, and the way it, it, mm. it brings people together. Totally. And, um, and each one of these bands has a story, and, and I'd like to hear that from, from the man himself. So yeah, I'm, man. I'm very, well, very blessed to have this opportunity i appreciate it i appreciate it too and we'll have to get together in another couple months we're really working on the whole experiential part as well i mean uh we kind of last year i kind of backed off from the kind of workshop and activity as much and just you know wanted it to be more completely free-flowing like just total a total hang but this year we're gonna put a lot more focus into the different experiential elements uh just all kinds of, like we want to have a lot of thought leaders talking about different things, workshops, all kinds of activities. Uh, but there's going to be like a whole like health and wellness area where we have like cryotherapy and mm. all kinds of different, different, uh, sort of new age. Know, and I, I definitely wouldn't, get, wouldn't go there, but, well. uh, maybe, but in a way, yeah, in <laughs> a way, but oh, yeah. something, I mean, just, <laughs> well, yeah, just wellness. Like, yeah, but, you know, physical yeah physical and spiritual and mm-hmm. mental just optimization and betterment for sure and, uh, yeah but then just yeah there's going to be just all kinds of things to do during the day for kids you know we're going to expand the kids kind of kids camp area just have all kinds of really awesome things for them to do and just yeah just all kinds of ways to interact and to to get a lot like we want people to be totally refreshed or rejuvenated to grow as people um and just you know, equipped with a ton of love and experience and knowledge to take back to yeah. their worlds. Make so. the world a better place. Definitely. <laughs> we need it. Yeah, man. Uh, at least in, in our own communities, you know. Yeah. There's no way to, there's no way to fix the fix the chaos, but you know, yeah, but you gotta be kind, right? Yep. And and, um, and and that's you know, that's it dude. That's that's the that's the whole idea. Is cool. um, it's it's all out there now. Everybody knows. <laughs> Make your way to Utopia Fest, people. Yeah. <clears throat> Get your tickets right now. For sure. Get them. They're going out, right? They're going to sell out pretty fast. They will. They will. It's a guarantee. All right, man. Thank you so much. Take care, Travis. You too. Well, that was a good time, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was really fun on our end because we got to sit and pick songs from... It's kind of like a secondhand lineup, right? Because we talked about how Travis picked the lineup and how it was like favorite bands, and he had to whittle that down. And we kind of had to do the same thing here. You know, we had to pick like the best versions of stuff, and, and all these songs were definitely ripped off of YouTube, which I put together a playlist of every single one of them. So if you're not really interested in the interview, which, like, why wouldn't you be? But if you aren't, go to YouTube, go to our page, uh, Trial by Air Variety Show, and... You can see the entire playlist, just just put it on, and there's even more songs, actually, but these ones are definitely on there. Uh, we're going to get our passes very soon, and we recommend you get them. There's also tons of packages, like VIP packages and tent packages, uh, what RV, special RV stuff, special car camping stuff. There's all kinds of, of different perks Air conditioned showers. Options. Love options. options. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. If you if you don't want to rough it, <laughs> yeah. There's there's ways to to somehow have luxury out there. <laughs> it's so awesome though, because it's still out just outside of Austin, and and hopefully there's not a lot of light pollution because the stars were amazing in Utopia. But from what we hear, and we can definitely take Travis's word for it, the stars at night are still big and bright. I would think it deep burn in it. the heart. They would be. Of Burn It. <laughs> burn It's still pretty country. Yeah. Yeah. And and God dang. I, I'm just so excited. I'm so excited, you guys. This is so cool. <laughs> uh, we're going to end with one more jam. 
You get a bonus jam. One more? Yeah, yeah. And it's by <gasps> Valerie June. She is headlining a, an amazing songwriter, an amazing performer. Again, videos are on the playlist. And you heard it here. Mm-hmm. That's right. Valerie June. This song is called You Can't Be Told. All right, well, <laughs> I guess the, yeah, so we're going to sign out without, wait, no, no, not that, not without further ado. Um, you guys take care of one another. And, and remember. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, let's do it together. Okay. Let's do it together. Ready? One, two, three. Mm-hmm. Follow. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Let's try it again. All right. You can say your and remember, and then we can both say it. <laughs> we can both say it. No, no, no. I just I totally let them go. All right. Follow, Follow the, the golden, golden rule.